Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm late, so I was rushing a bit. I had to wake up this morning. I had plans to go to a different location for sunrise, but what I decided to do is come to a place close to home. It's Forta Castle or Forta Folly. And when I was here the last time, actually, I had a very similar morning to what I'm dealing with right now. So there was no clouds in the sky, bluebird morning, but I got some nice shots actually that were of the turret of the castle with the sunlight behind it. So I've decided to come to a different area today. I'm going to use my long lens to try and capture some images of the glowing orange behind it, but also some of the birds. And I think that was the most important thing for me the last time was the birds were great for the shots. So that's what we're going to do this morning. As I said, I'm late, I'm rushing. I'm running to get to the spot here. So yeah, small bit out of breath, but that's okay. It's early morning, got to wake up yet. So let's kick start the day and let's see how we get on for this morning's shoot. So I'm all set up now and the sun is just about actually to come up. We're on about six minutes away from sunrise and already you can see it's getting quite bright in the sky and the small bit of cloud that we do have there actually is starting to catch. So I'm getting a nice bit of a pink glow in the sky. Now, what I've done here is like I've got my uh, long lens on. I'm aiming towards the uh, castle and I'm hoping to get a couple of shots of some of the birds as they wake up and they all go for their morning flight, I suppose. So it's interesting when I take these shots here because I want to go for a fast shutter speed, but I also want to be able to control the sky. So I'm using um, a graduated ND and I'm only using a very, very small part of that actually because it's still quite dark. I'm shooting into the sun and as I see some birds there now, I'm shooting into the sun. So the subject is going to be dark from the highlights and shadows point of view. But when I take the shot, I have to take a fast shutter speed so I don't get those bir birds being blurred. Um, as the sun will come up now, I imagine I'll get more and more birds coming there. So yeah, I'm going to crack on before I miss this. I'll see what else I can get here. And um, yeah, I'll check back in then again in a moment. I changed out here now to a portrait orientation and the reason why I did that is because there's a bit of the cloud here that's catching in the sky and rather than me zooming straight into the castle which is what I wanted to do I want to catch that bit of color while I have it 
and also some of the birds as well were flying towards me so that enabled me to be able to capture I think one or two anyway not a whole pile but normally you get quite a lot of birds that are in this area there's quite a lot that roost over in the um, the woodland around the castle so as the sun will come up hopefully I'll get a lot more action in relation to those birds but for now anyway I'm looking at a 1 500th of a second I'm actually shooting at f4 um, to be able to get as much light as I possibly can in and like I say I'm only using a small bit of the graduated ND just to control the brightness within that sky because it is so dark in the foreground and my ISO at the moment is at 600 640 sorry so yeah these will be the second set of shots that I'll get now I think the sun is about to come up here so I can see there's a lot more uh, bird action as well happening so yeah I'll show you the second set of shots anyway in the portrait orientations and then we'll hopefully be zooming back in again then to the castle to capture some of those birds with the sunlight coming up um, over the castle okay talk to you in a moment <music> While I was waiting now for the sun to come up uh, and the birds actually, I put on my uh, 10 stop filter and I took a 30 second long exposure. And I think actually it's a nice photograph because what I did is I zoomed back out to get more of the scene uh, and I get some nice then flattening of the water but some nice pastel colors as well that are within the sky. Now I'll show you actually two shots. I took one with the 30 seconds and then I took another one as well which is at a one one sixtieth of a second so relatively fast shutter speed and let me know actually which one do you prefer in relation to this scene for me i know my favorite but i'd be quite interested to hear uh, your thoughts in the comments below actually on which photograph you actually prefer from there now the sun as well is about to come up we are uh, 10 minutes past sunrise so it's up but it's not after breaking the horizon across from me there yet and it's going to actually appear over here so it's not actually going to appear within the frame and I think that's exactly what I wanted to have I don't want to be able to deal with shooting directly into the sun on this occasion so I'm hoping that I get a nice bit of subtle light that will spill over above the castle um, and I get some nice shots as well then from that so yeah I'll show you anyway both of these shots now um, that I've taken the long exposure and the relative quick exposure and like I said please let me know in the comments below which image you prefer
as you saw there the sun actually now has come up and you can see by the glow on my face actually like I would have said there is no clouds to stop the light coming through so what I've done is I've changed out now to my wide lens and I've managed to get a shot of the castle on the left hand side and then with the sun just breaking the horizon on the right hand side now I also changed my f I went to f16 I actually went up as far as f18 to be able to get a uh, sun star on the right hand side of the image and then I've also now just put my filters onto this lens as well just to be able to control the brightness that's within that sky so I don't have any highlights to be able to deal with as the sun broke the uh, the tree line on the far side the morning actually has been quite interesting surprisingly once again not many birds in the last time I was here if you remember I had said I wanted to capture um, in this exact spot actually I wanted to capture a lot of birds but it's only a small amount really normally in the past I've seen you know thousands of them at one time leaving but I didn't see that this morning they left in kind of dribs and drabs but nonetheless I still think it was a couple of nice shots I needed to get in the morning itself so a couple of different types of shots that I got today I've got a photograph at 200 mil zoomed right in before the sun would have come up and then I zoomed out uh, to get a wider scene I took a fast shutter speed in relation to that I took a long exposure and now as well now with this here I have my uh, wide angle lens on this and what I'm going to do now next is I'm going to take a long exposure shot as well uh, of exactly the same scene as well here with the sun on the right hand side and then hopefully that will turn out to be another nice shot as well so yeah I hope you enjoyed and you're coming along on this episode of me this morning albeit rather short and um, if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time Schlange Folk.